we're going to do the Winkler method today. First, we're going to take a water sample and pour it into some BOD bottles. And I try to pour it down the side so we won't introduce any new air bubbles. So just slowly pour. And it might be a good idea to have some paper towels on hand because this gets messy. <laughs> and I usually pour it to the top of the frosted area if you're using a glass BOD bottle. If you're typically doing the Winkler method, um, you can do two or three bottles just for the titration and then you're going to need one extra for the DO meter to manually calibrate the DO meter. So that's what I'm just doing one today in this demonstration and we're going to use this one to calibrate with. So we're going to put this one to the side for right now and to the one we're going to be using for the titration we're going to add the contents of a manganous sulfate powder pillow. It looks like these. And you can use scissors to open it. You may have to tap the side if there's some left in there. Then we're going to add an alkaline iodide azide reagent powder pillow. Okay, now it's going to turn a color. Okay, now we're going to immediately insert the stopper. So, there might be some powder up here. We're just going to take the stopper and kind of push it into the water. We want to put the stopper in here so there's no air bubbles. Now we're going to invert several times to mix. It will be white on the bottom. Now, um, and I'll read the note on here, a flocculent precip precipitate will form. It will be orange-brown. If oxygen is present or um, or white if, I'm sorry, orange brown if oxygen is present or white if oxygen is absent. The flock will settle very slowly in salt water and usually will require an additional five minutes before proceeding with step five. So now we're going to wait until the flock and the solution has settled. And usually I wait until, until it gets down to settle down to here. And the top part will be clear, and the bottom part will still be orange-brown. All right, now I'm going to take the paper towel off of the stopper. Now we're going to add the contents of a sulfamic acid powder pillow. And this, all this flock should uh, clear up now. It'll still be an amber color though. And we want to 
want to try to avoid entrapping any air bubbles in here so and I'm trying to get the powder off of the neck of the bottle as well so you just want to be careful with that no air bubbles so I'm gonna put the paper towel back on and shake it again There's still a, a few little particles in there, as you can see. They're getting, you know, they're dissolving slowly. <clears throat> I don't think like every single one has to be dissolved in order to do the next step. But I try to get most of them dissolved. Take the paper towel off. Now we're going to pour the contents in a 250 mil graduated cylinder to the 200 mil mark. And it's right there. I'm also going to pour this the same way down the side trying to prevent any air bubbles. Okay, it's at 200 mils. So now we're going to pour the contents of this in a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. also have a stir bar in there because we're going to need it to stir. <clears throat> and I've already um, put sodium thiosulfate. This is our next step. Um, I've already filled it, the burette with a sodium thiosulfate solution. This is a 0 0.025 normal sodium thiosulfate solution and I went ahead and filled it to the zero mark this is a 25 mil burette okay I'm gonna put it back in the holder leave enough room because we're gonna be putting the 250 Erlenmeyer flask up there all right we're gonna turn that on let it start stirring. Slow it down just a little bit. Now we're we're at zero. So that's where that's just where we'll start. Um, now we're going to titrate the prepared sample with the sodium thiosulfate to a pale yellow color. I usually go like four mils. Typically, this will be like around eight or something for the DO. And this titrate, the amount we add, is going to be the amount of dissolved oxygen oxygen in our sample so you can go about three or four meals it's going to start turning pale like a straw color 
Okay. Now we're going to add two dropperfuls of starch indicator solution and we're going to keep swirling it to mix. Get out just a little bit. So here's our starch indicator solution. We're going to put two dropperfuls of this in there. And we're going to see a dark blue color now. Now we're going to continue titrating until the solution changes from dark blue to colorless. And you don't have to titrate slowly at first, but when it starts getting lighter, you want to slow down the titration or you'll miss your end point. So right now I'm about seven, seven mils. So I'm just getting it to a drop now. And the lighter it gets, the slower you want to get. Just let it have time to develop first. Now I'm going to add one more drop. Oops. Sometimes that will happen. Okay. We are at 7.7. .7. So we have 7.7 .7 milligrams per liter DO dissolved oxygen in that sample. So I'm I'm ready to take this one over to the BOD the DO meter. So first of all, we're going to, I already turned the meter on. This is our YSI dissolved oxygen meter. And I'm going to press calibrate. There's some soft keys under the menu. So I'm going to press calibrate. Okay, it does have a soft key for auto cal. And you could just press that and carry on with your test. Since we did the Winkler method, we're going to manually enter that number in that we just um, titrated. I want to turn this on. If you have any air bubbles in the sample, just lift, turn it off. Turn the DO probe off, lift it up. You want to try to avoid air bubbles in here when you put the probe in the water sample. And this is the extra bottle that we poured up in the Winkler when we did, uh, started out with the Winkler titration. So I've got this running. The probe is, is on. So you want to uh, let that stabilize just a moment. So we're going to press DO Cal. So first it starts blinking at the percent. We want to get over to the milligrams per liter. So it has an up, down, digit, and next. So we want to go press next to go over to the milligrams per liter. And our Winkler was 
on our titration. So that's what we're going to set this. So we're going to go up until we get to 7.7. .7. Almost there. Okay, we are now at 7.7 .7 for our milligrams per liter. So this is calibrating the meter the same as our titration was the 7.7. .7. So now it says press enter to save setting. So we're going to press the enter button. So it says DO calibration saved. Now I'm going to press mode to get back to the main mode. So see here's our 7.7. .7. Now our meter is calibrated correctly with the, um, to match the length of titration.